In this video, I am quickly going to walk through how to track email clicks, which are your mail to URLs, as well as mobile click to call, which are your tell links in Google Analytics as events via Google Tag Manager. I'll then show you how to tie them to goals for conversion tracking within Google Analytics. Also very beneficial. All I have in place thus far is obviously a website, very default website here. I do have the Google Analytics account created for this website that I do nothing with. I have a Google Tag Manager container created and I have the Google Tag Manager container placed on the website. The only other step that I've done prior to this point is I have the Google Analytics tag firing within the container, the Google Tag Manager container. Now what each of these does, you're probably familiar for looking at this, but the email click will launch my email client or your user's email client. The tell link will launch on mobile devices, the actual call app. On a desktop device, it's just going to specify to launch an application and doesn't really do much. Uh, it can launch Skype. Either way, it gives you more transparency into user conversion data. Um, it can be pivotal to your tracking, so I think this is definitely beneficial to set up. What we're going to need to do within Google Tag Manager is first create a variable for element URL. If you've migrated from the old Google Tag Manager, this was a default value, so it would probably be in your account. Um, right now you can see there's nothing in here because I created this under version 2 for Google Tag Manager. We'll then create two triggers, one for each the email clicks as well as the mobile click to call the tell clicks and then we'll need two tags so we can track them individually as events in Google Tag Manager. So let's hop right in within your Google Tag Manager account you're going to click on variables I'm already on this page so we need to create a new variable you can name any of this stuff whatever you want but I'm just going to name it element URL with this I probably would name element URL just keep it consistent with Google Tag Manager naming convention the choose type auto event variable variable type element URL and that's all you're going to need. You can leave component type on full URL. So we're going to create this variable. Alright, now we're going to need two triggers. And the triggers are going to use that variable, which is why we're doing this in this order, just like the tags are going to use the triggers. So triggers, we're going to do a new trigger. Let's go ahead and name this one email clicks or something. Alright, choose event. We're going to do a click not all elements you want to change that to just links so configure trigger just links go ahead and leave these validation defaults um, maybe you can change your max wait time but typically 2000 milliseconds is good but you do want the validation there so continue now enable when we need to enable the triggers basically to be active on all site pages so for enable when go ahead and hit your drop down page URL matches regex and just put a period and an asterisk. So that's going to be everything. So that's the reg regex for everything. Basically we want this enabled on all pages is all we are doing. Hit continue from there. Fire on. We don't want all clicks. We want some clicks. This is where we're going to use our element URL variable. That's why you see that in this drop down. It's because we already created that variable. So fire on. Element URL contains. And we're going to do mail to colon. Go ahead and be as descriptive as you can because if some of this copy falls within other outbound links, it'll start triggering events and ultimately conversions based on false data. So you want to be as specific as possible. So I would put that colon in there. What I'm going to do now is create trigger and I'm going to create a new trigger for the tell links. I'm doing the same exact process so I'm not going to commentate on this one. naming it mobile click to call again all of this is exactly the same that we have just done so again the enable win we want that to be all pages and then fire on this is the one difference so fire on your sum clicks element URL contains now do tell colon so tel colon and that will capture those mobile click to calls so create trigger now we have both of our triggers. We have the email click trigger, mobile click to call trigger, or the tell triggers. We're going to need a tag that uses each of those triggers. So in the left hand sidebar, click tags, new tag, Google Analytics. You are going to need your user account number. Um, so go ahead and click Universal Analytics or 
you can use the old analytics if you use the old analytics. Uh, go over to Google Analytics, um, go to your admin, go to tracking info information and tracking code. I believe I have mine copied on my clipboard so I can just paste it. I do. So I believe you do need that there. You could try running this without it, but I believe you do need that because it has to sync it up with the account to fire the event. Either way, go ahead and enable display advertising features. Again, I don't know if that's necessary either. I haven't run very much A-B testing on what is and is not necessary. Track type, event, category, I'm just going to name it email, so something easy to remember. And speaking of naming, I need to name the tag, so I'm just going to name the tag email event. Action, I pretty much always do clicks. What action on a website is not a click unless someone's on a tablet device, so a touch. Either way, label, this is where you want to use our variable again, so element URL. This is extremely important because you don't want to create tags for each email on the site. This is going to specify what email someone clicked on. There can be thousands of emails and you're going to see those broken down under the label category and it's done in an automated fashion. You just want that value. You can specify it and piggyback that value into Google Analytics. I just leave it empty. It's hard to value an email click, especially when you don't know that they sent the email, but you do want to know this interaction. So non-interaction hit false. Just leave that default. Go ahead and continue. So your category, email, action, click, label, element, URL, and you can name those wherever you want. Just remember what you named them. And continue. Uh, the fire on rule, this is where we're going to select our trigger. So you can do click or I'm just going to click on more. It's going to bring up the triggers and email clicks. Save that. You'll see it here. And create tag. So we have the email event. Now again, we need another tag that is for mobile click to calls. So I'm just going to do click to call event. Uh, this is the same process, so it's going to have less commentation. Just make sure your category is different. So we're just going to do uh, call click. Click. In fact, I'm going to take off the click out of call. Label. Again, element URL. So it's going to capture the specific phone number they clicked on in case there's multiple across your site value I'm leaving blank, continue, more, and just select that mobile click to call trigger, save it out, create tag, now you have your two tags, your two triggers, your one variable, you're good to go. All you need to do here is top right and publish this, publish now. You can test to make sure these fire, but if you set it up this way it does fire, I have verified. We're going to look at it in Google Analytics in the real time report to validate. So what I'm going to do is click on some of this activity to get us some events triggered. So I'm clicking on my email clicks. I'm clicking on my mobile click to calls, which brings up pretty much nothing on desktop. So I'm just, again, initiating several events. That way they show up. The maps click would be facilitated the same way you need an additional trigger that is specified to google.com forward slash maps. Uh, you would need an additional tag to separate the events out. All right, that's probably enough there. Now, if we go into reporting, real time, just make sure your IP is not excluded from your reports, or this could get frustrating. Oh, so we're looking. I need to remove my filter here. So you can see we have email and tell the event categories. You can remember that's what I set these up as. And let me just click on the email so you can see that it does break out the email. So you see mail to mail at Gmail. Awesome. We know which email they clicked on. If you want to go a step further and set these up as goal conversions, then hang on for like another 30 seconds. If you just wanted events, then I think thank you for checking this out. So let's uh, tie these to a conversion. So admin tab, and we're going to go to goals, new goal. You need to go to custom. If I could click on it, there we go. Name, uh, we'll just do email. Or we'll do email click, just to be specific. The goal slot ID, I'm leaving that default. You need to make it a, an event because we're basically tracking those events that we have configured to then fire a conversion. So next step after you click event, category, I would only do the category. I'd do equals to email. Leave all this blank. Uh, you definitely don't want the label. If you wanted to put click under action, more power to you. But the, the category will separate it out. And from there, you will know that your email click goals are a click on your mail to clicks and then launch someone's mail client. Uh, you can verify this goal. Look at that, that's what my conversion rate would have been. Great. I'm not going to create this. 
that's how you set it up. Please do let me know if you have any questions, and I hope this was helpful. Thanks.